some of the most amazing animations you see on awards.com and on product pages of design leaders like Apple rely on one simple effect, sticky scroll. And in this framework tutorial, you will learn how to use it in less than three minutes. Now, when it comes to sticky scroll, there are basically only four things you need to remember. One, sticky is only available as an option when the parent is a stack. Two, all parent layers should have overflow visible for it to work. Three, the height of the sticky object's parent determines the scroll area. And four, sticky positioning behaves like relative positioning, but with the obvious difference that it sticks. So if you want to combine your sticky object with other objects, make sure you understand how stacks work. If you don't, I have a video on it in the top right corner. Now let's create a layout to exemplify. Oh, and if you want to use the same working file as me, the link is down below. So the first thing we do is we make sure our desktop is a stack by hitting plus on layout. Then we create another frame inside of our desktop. We make sure this one is a stack as well. We're gonna call this scroll container. This is gonna be the parent object that determines the scroll area. I will give it a height of 1600 pixels. I'm gonna select the desktop frame and make sure that the height is set to fit content so that it fits all of the content. Then I'm gonna make sure that both scroll container and desktop have their overflow set to visible. And that's it for the basic setup. Now we can add our sticky object. So I'll create a little frame in here. I'll go to fill image. I'll pick a cool image. I'll add some radius to it. I'll go to position and change from relative to sticky. I'll also give it some top margin. And now if we hit play, you can see that when we scroll and reach the image, it sticks to the top. From here, we can just add any content we wanted to scroll past. So let's duplicate the image. Let's change the new image from sticky to relative, maybe even change up the photo. Now, as you can see, the new image pushes the sticky image to the right as if both have relative positioning. And if we play it and we reach the sticky image, you can see that the sticky image sticks while the other image stays. And that's it. If you wanna see how Framer's sticky scroll can be combined with other animations to create something like this, check out this video here. Until the next one, have a great life.